down for the cool table, man. I'm right back at you. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to tabulate, uh, but Andrew Tate has been released from jail, from prison. Now, he's been released from prison, but he's also still on house arrest. And from what it seems, if found guilty or if they find enough evidence, because they haven't even been officially indicted, right? So all this time, he's just been held while they've been trying to collect evidence to actually indict him. And if you don't know what an indictment means, an indictment is where they have enough evidence to take it to trial, right? That doesn't mean you're innocent or guilty even in that. But it just means that we have enough evidence to take it to trial. And in this case, they don't even have enough evidence to do that. For some reason, they still left have him on house arrest. But I think it's because we have they don't want to let him fully go until they fully know that they can't do anything to go further. But I think they would already know that once you decide to let him go from prison, right? Like once you decide to put somebody on house arrest and say, okay, you can go home, it's kind of over, <laughs> I think, right? But we're gonna see what happens. What I find funny, well, let me do this. Let me show you what he, how something that he said, he'd come home, he spoke to a couple people that were celebrating him. Shout out to the homie. Uh, all praises due to Allah. I'm also a Christian as well, but uh, I'm very closely tied into the Islamic and Muslim faith. Uh, so I know that he's also now uh, uh, a Muslim as well. So blessings to him. But yes, uh, let's see what he had to say and I'll get back to you guys. And there's a couple other things I want to show you as well because it's amazing how many people are so upset or still feeling some type of way about this man even when the judicial system has nothing to hold him on, right? And so we're going to dive into all that in just a second. Freedom at last. <laughs> Andrew Tate is out of prison. Mashallah, brother, mashallah, mashallah. It's a little bit emotional. I've been in one room since last year, so uh, it's a little bit emotional. Tate and his brother Tristan have been placed under house arrest. But both men face allegations of rape, people trafficking, and forming an organized crime group. And they could be sent back to jail if they're found guilty. I believe in God, and I think that the, the fire of truth will eventually destroy all lies, and anybody who lies on a long enough time frame will feel the sting of regret, and I believe in this. Yeah, sure. Um, I, I truly believe that justice will be served in the end. There is 0% chance of me being found guilty of something I have not done. When I was in jail, I did 7,417 push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I would like I to get to, I would like to get to ten thousand before the end of the weekend. So I make ten thousand already. I will I will, I will focus on the push-ups yeah, and, I will read, and I will read the Quran. Yeah, man, he looks like he's in good health and he looks like he's doing well. Uh, he got his Muslim brothers with him. He got his actual brother with him. He got his people with him. He got his family back. Um, his reputation doesn't seem to be too stained either, man. The people that didn't like him before don't like him, and the people that do like him before or did like him before still pretty much do. I know there were some people that turned uh, slightly or either took a back seat to their support uh, due to some things that he was saying actually himself online. Some videos surfaced of him talking real slick, you know what I'm saying? And it had a real pimp overtone and some people didn't like that. You know, some dudes felt like, oh, he's a pimp, he must be a bad dude. And some people felt like, oh, he's a pimp. So he got, you know, He's sticking to the average bear, you feel me? Um, pimping really, in the end of the day, is a mind state in a, in a mouthpiece type of thing. You can pimp from your hip, you know what I mean? Or you can pimp from your mind. Um, that's a complicated situation, a complicated subject altogether. But look, what I'm saying is, he was accused of some stuff and, and, him, and what he said online didn't help his situation. But they did a thorough investigation and a thorough probe. And if you heard what they said in the beginning, he was arrested under the guidelines of a human trafficking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, probe. So they had him for over, I, don't, I forget, I don't know the exact amount of time, but this is, he's been in jail for a while. So they had him for a while in jail while they did this probe and they finally had to release him and they didn't want to fully let him go. So they have him on house arrest and here we are. So I think that uh, the evidence of what they were trying to do isn't looking so well. Um, and it's ironic that, you know, you, you would think that, okay, you, hey, you go through the judicial system, you win the judicial system, or you're winning in the judicial system, people should support that, right? You had your day in court, you have, you're doing your due diligence, you're doing a due process. People should be cool with that. People are, some people are not. Because some people were so happy to see him gone, and these are some weird ones. But some people were so happy to see him gone, 
and thinking that he was such a plague that now they're like, there's no way he could come back. There's no way. They've already invested their time into degrading this man and talking down on this man, right? They've already said things and thought that there was no way he was coming home. But it's Lord and behold, right? Lord and behold, here he is. And now you have to eat those words. And you're hoping that in the end of the day, you, you don't have to eat those words. You're hoping that somehow the legal system will flip around and they will find what it is they need to bring him back to jail. And then you could be like, ha ha. Oh, he thought he was free. Ha ha. But right now you have to eat that. And why is it so hard to let that go? Well, we'll dive into that once I get back. It's the one that looks like she try and sell you crack. And Ethan, he's the one that looks like he runs a laser tag arena at the weekends. Wait, so why did they release him? Is there any details about that? They won on their appeal on Friday and remain under house arrest until the 29th of April. Uh, none of them have yet been formally indicted. So yeah, that's the thing. It's like there's not Look anything away. to really keep them indefinitely for. Are they just going to get off, you think? I mean, it seems like no, right? Because he like admits to all of his crimes repeatedly on tape mm -hmm. it seems bad for him i mean if the judge authorized that many extensions it's got to be pretty damning evidence yeah i would think so um yeah i mean i'd say it's more likely that they they sneak out of the country somehow that they do mm. flee to dubai or something <laughs> like that andrew, stay strong, andrew. we love you we love you andrew you do alhamdulillah we love you and alhamdulillah yeah the Muslims are coming out in support of our boy. You know, mm. he's a prophet. He got in. Before we know it, he'll be in uh, Mecca. Love it, man. Love how he's become like a religious icon to some of them. That's our boy. They look confused. These guys have been traumatized, bro. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this man looks like he just got it out of like... Prisoner of War. Look at his ass. He's got like that a thousand mile stare, Tristan. Mm, that's weird. I could hear it. Um, my... Dude, they do not look mentally well. And then... He's the one that called me ugly, right? He mm -hmm. did, yeah. He's not looking too hot. Mm -mm. Dude, no, mm -mm. kind of a mess. Mashallah. Yo, what the fuck? How did he win them over so fast? These yeah. dudes have been Muslim for like a, a week before mm -hmm. they went to prison. I, I have no clue. And now they're all riding for him? Like, damn, it's that Where? easy? Shit, I'm gonna have to convert if I get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, alhamdulillah! He did a rebrand. He rebranded, yeah. it's good. It's a hot rebrand. You know? I love you! So Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan have left prison in Bucharest. They have been moved to house. Tristan's such a bridesmaid. He's like such a little fucking beta boy. And again, it doesn't mean he's innocent of anything. He's under house arrest. They held him for as long as they could. Mm -hmm. Keep putting him under house arrest. Bro, I don't care if he's acquitted. I've seen the fucking videos with my own eyes. When people dig in so deep that they don't want to let go of what it is that they believe to be true, even though they find evidence that it might not be true, and even though they, you might have a personal vendetta against the person, how can you be overjoyed or still so like blinders on that you refuse to see that it's possibly that the man is innocent? You don't have to like the man, but like to say, I don't care. I saw it myself. He's guilty. Come on, bro. But this is a lot of people. And this is how a lot of people react when they have somebody that they don't like saying some things that they don't like. They they rejoice at any moment they can and hope for the damnation of that person rather than trying to convert them to possibly think how you think. All right, if you don't like how he thinks and what he has to say, then give him a good reason why the modern feminist movement or women acting how they act or beta men, you know, subpar men acting how they act, to give give a good reason of why this is a greater thing. Give a good reason why men like you who look weird like you should be the 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 staple of what we um, uh, of what people should try to strive for because you can never be somebody and you, there is no perfection, but there are things that you can strive to be more like, right? More stronger like this person or more or carry yourself more like this person. Things like that. I'm just saying instead of just rejoicing for the damnation why not try that? 
But nonetheless, I just wanted to bring it to you guys' attention, man. We're happy that it, the homie's home. Um, but it's, they're right, though. It's not over. So it, there could be something that comes up. So I'm not saying that he's not guilty. But I'm also saying that he's not, that he's, I'm also saying that he isn't found guilty yet. And the man is home, free on house arrest. Good things. Let's stay tuned and see what happens. But I just uh, want everybody to try to keep an open mind uh, as the process unveils and stuff. So you're not so stuck on one thing or one goal or one agenda. Be pliable. Because, you know, be pliable. <laughs> Nonetheless, man, I catch you cool kids at the cool table next time, man. Shout out to the homeboy T with the T, and I'll catch you cool kids next time. Deuces.